What's up guys, Chris Basil Builds here. Just wanna do a quick video about how to set your injection pump timing on a Volkswagen ALH TDI without using Rostec. You can do this with just using a regular scanner like this cheap Autofix, Autofix D1 Lite, or you can use a Launch X431 or whatever you wanna do. So basically all you gotta do is you get into your uh, this being an Autel product, if you're familiar with Autel, like any of this is going to look the same. So you just kind of go into Volkswagen, go into your car, get all that going, and then click Engine Control Module. Once you get that loaded up, you can go to your live data. And then you can read by channel. What you're going to be looking for is your fuel temperature and your start of injection. And these are the metrics you're gonna to use to look at the Rostec graph that I will insert here. I'll leave it on the video for a while so you can see it. Um, I'll also attach a link in the description on how to find that. The channel you're gonna to wanna to go to is 021. Key thing is to, this car's not warm yet. I just started it up to show you it, it, it working, but so 21 is going to be your temperature channel. So you can see the first one you're seeing right here, 75.74 Fahrenheit. That is your fuel temperature. And that number will rise as the car gets warmer. Like I said, you want to do this at operating temperature. I'm just, this is a, just a how to. So you can see your temperature there and based off of the temperature, which will be on the left side of your graph, you can see your start of injection which I'll show you in just a second, and that will show you what you need to be able to look at the graph and set your injection pump timing without using Rostec software. So the next channel you wanna read is 000. I wish there was a way to do both of these together so you could just look at them, but honestly, once you get the car warm, your fuel temperature doesn't really change, so warm the car up, read your fuel temperature, and then you can see your start of injection which is, as you can see right here, start of injection. It gives you some target values, but essentially the number you're looking at right here is 52, 54, 53. And it's, if you were to do this on VCDS, you would see that it's just like dots pointing in different spots. And so you just kind of want to keep it within a range, but your range is going to be between like 30 and 75 is give or take. And there's a blue line in the middle, which is like perfect. So. Once you look at this graph here and pull that up while you're looking at this, you can make adjustments to your injection pump after you've done your timing belt or if you've done some servicing or whatever, change your injection pump and you need to set your timing so you can get a good start. I was having cold start issues and which is why I went down this whole road. I changed the timing belt on this thing and I got to start good once and then it just would burn a whole battery down during a cold start. Now it just starts by a breath of the key. So. This made a huge difference in how this thing starts and runs. It runs a lot smoother and anyone can do this with an auto fix or a launch or I would imagine any of the other bi-directional type scanners. So look at the link in the description or just Google Rostec ALH diesel timing graph and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about or what I've attached in this video. And when you make your adjustments, you just, there's a bunch of videos on how to do that, but you just take your timing cover off, your front pulley towards the front of the car is your injection pump. There's three 13 millimeter bolts to loosen, and then there is a 22 millimeter on the shaft for the injection pump. Going forwards towards the bumper is advanced. Going backwards towards the dash or the firewall is retarding. And make very small adjustments, like 30 seconds of adjustments at a time and just keep guessing and checking, checking and checking. It took me three adjustments to get right here at 50, which is chef's kiss, perfect, based off of the graph. And this thing runs better than it ever has, and it was real easy to do. So I hope this video helped you guys. If you have any questions, feel free and leave them in the comments. And I will attach that graph, and you guys can uh, go from there. So. Thanks for watching the video. Chris Basil Bills, Diesel Man, not really, but I'm here and we're making it happen. So have a happy new year and y'all have a good one.